Good evening, teacher. Oh, hello, you? Carlos. I'm doing great. All right. How are you? I'm very well, teacher. Thank okay. you for asking. All right. Well, I'm great. It's raining over here hard, right? Yes, yeah, I can yeah. listen it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if ya se fuera loose like two times, right? In the último 15 minutos. So if the power goes out, do not disconnect, okay? No se van a desconectar. Okay? Okay, teacher. teacher. Uh, just stay connected. When they stay connected with us, we are going to go to the link in the message. No. Come on. No. Now it's going to connect uh, the person from Inglés Corporativo. Mm, no. No. Or it's going to be tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Remember? Ah, okay. Uh, yesterday I told you that they sent me a message. And that is going yes. to be on Thursday. Okay. On Thursday. So it will be Thursday. Tomorrow. It will be tomorrow. It will be tomorrow. Let me see. I know it's raining hard, so I'm going to wait a little bit for everyone to connect. And, um, can you hear the thundering? <laughs> huh? Can you hear the thundering, Blanca? Yes. It's yeah. raining too hard. Yeah, it's raining hard. It's raining a lot over here, but it has calmed down a little bit. It was raining harder earlier. Here. Is it raining where you're at, Blanca? No. No? Um, it, it just finished because it was raining. Okay. Let me see. Two, two, two. All right. So everyone has finished. Everyone has finished. The homeworks. All right. Let me see. Hello, Iris. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Thank you. I'm doing great here. You're waiting for the rest to connect. I know it's raining hard over here, but I don't know in certain parts if it's raining also. Let me see. Hello, Jackie. Hello. Hello, teacher. All right, welcome, welcome. Let me see. Okay, are you ready to take a little rest after tomorrow? <laughs> Uh, a few days off after tomorrow, right? Remember, tomorrow is our last day. Our last day. Let me see. Hello, Rolando. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. All right. Great. Great. I'm working. Okay. Well, um, at least you're connected, which is a good thing. All right. Um, are you are you able to do group activities, Rolando, or do you want me to leave you on the side? Yes, I can. I can. I can part. I can. Unavail I, unavailable. Okay, you're available. Okay, great, great, awesome. Okay, I'm just asking, just because we will do some uh, group activities here later on, and I, and I was just wondering if you can. Okay, let me see. Hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Mm, great. <laughs> great. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Great. Awesome. Let me 
see I'm going to share screen Do, 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 do. All right. So today we're going to have a pretty relaxed day. It's going to be relaxed, right? And we get ready for tomorrow, which is our last day. So today we're going to do some some we're going to finish the activities that we were doing yesterday with the double negatives and we are also going to finish the other part of the unit which is part uh part 40 page 40 and do some speaking activities for you i have two speaking activities for you that you will do with your classmates okay so basically we're gonna feel the, the story of it today no. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Tomorrow. Remember, yesterday I mentioned that they had contacted me while we were in class, and they changed uh, the date for tomorrow. All right. So tomorrow is very important that, that everyone is here, because after that, then I will not connect again, and you only have one chance to do the survey. All right. You only have one opportunity. And you have to send me the, you have to send the proof to the group, a WhatsApp group. Ahí van a mandar la prueba de que hicieron encuesta. All right, let me see, that will be tomorrow. And we are also going to have uh, administration here, all right? So, she will connect tomorrow, the administrator, and I will probably say hello, and then we, we begin, all right, when the person enters tomorrow hello Flor how are you hi all right let me see hello Jarvin Miguel and Janari that are connecting right now good evening oh. hi welcome 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 welcome, welcome. okay And I have added also vamos a agregarle algo más. Maybe I should lower this down just a little bit. All right, I'm going to add that. Let me see how I see someone in Good evening, teacher. Hello, Miguel. Welcome. Okay, class, I'm going to begin. Uh, the majority is here. I hope it's not raining where you're at. And we're going to continue with the double negatives from yesterday. And we're going to do, I'm going to have someone read that for us. Let me see. Um, Jarvin, can you read, please? Okay, teacher. Let me check. Unit four. Loyalty. How to avoid double negative. Part two. Characteristics of effect loyalty program speaking in group. Wednesday, groups. October. Groups. 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 Wednesday, October 20, 2021. Teacher Mr. Henry, Intermediate 3, Class 25. Very good. Excellent, right? Class, this is uh, pretty much one more after this one and we are finished don't forget class that tomorrow is not going to be two hours okay va a ser corta la clase it's not going to be two hours okay it's going to be an hour and 
20 minutes. Okay? An hour and 20 minutes. Not two hours. So remember that. Let me see. But the class will begin at 8. At 8. Let me see. Okay. Now, we're going to continue doing the negatives, double negatives part 2. And we're going to look at some of the characteristics of effective loyalty programs, which is page 40. Page 40 of your book. Page 40. If you're probably wondering what, what that means, it's on page 40. And we and I have some speaking activities for you. You're going to do this in groups, and there are a variety of questions that you're going to answer with your fellow classmates. Now, before I begin, let me um, take the attendance. Okay, let me see. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, not here. Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay. Not here. Blanca. Present. Okay. Let me see. Brenda. Brenda. Okay. Not here. Carlos. I'm present, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Let me see. Diana. Present. Okay. Thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Not present. Flor. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. Okay. Great. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right. Great. Glenda. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Let's see, Jackie. I'm here. Okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. Great. Let me see, Jennifer. Present. Okay. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present. Okay. Thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Present. Okay, thank you. Fabio. Present. Okay, I got you, Miguel. I got you. Okay, Fabio. Fabio. Okay, not here. Um, Rolando. I'm here. Okay, great. And Janari. I'm here. All right, great. Okay, great. Let me share screen now. Let me see. So we can begin. We can continue. Okay. All right, let's continue. Now that I did the attendance, let's continue. And we are going to focus on the second part, right? The second part. Basically, we did this yesterday, right? The double negative, just a little reminder of the double negatives here in case you want to see it again. It is available. All you have to do is ask me. And this is the page that we did uh, yesterday with the double negatives, double negatives. Then I mentioned this to you yesterday, right? Yesterday, we did the first one. But just to refresh, Rolando, can you read, please? Just a little refreshing. Double negatives. OK. Double negatives with adverbs. Adverbs of frequency such as hardly, scarcely, 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 scarcely Rarely, barely, seldom, seldom have a negative meaning. They are used without not. Okay, they are used. Some, use. Uh, use. 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 Without not. Very Example. Good. 
I can barely walk in these new shoes. Okay, I can't. I can't. I, I can't barely walk in these new shoes. I can barely walk in these new shoes. Very good, excellent. Now, we did number one yesterday, right? We did number one and we have we had like two two different answers, right? And I believe it was Freddy's, if I'm not mistaken. We say, can we omit the do, right? Absolutely, absolutely, right? So number one, we did already. Can you do it, Freddy's, in your in your demonstration, please? Number one. Yes, sir. Maria and Brad hardly meet each other. All right, very good. Very good. Maria and Brad hardly meet each other right very good excellent now here we are omitting the negative because hardly it's already exactly very good right and just like the instructions say they are used without not okay you do not need a double negative there now i have here two three four five Six, seven, and eight. I want you to do these and I want you to give me the correct sentence, just like the example, right? I want you to give me the correct sentence and I want you to send it to me when you finish. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, two, three, four, five. I want you to number them, okay? I want you to number them. Quiero que les ponga los números también, all right? I want you to number them. Only send me the correct sentence. You do not have to send me the, um, the, double, the double negative, okay? Are we clear? Any questions? Any questions? I'm clear. I'm All right, clear. great. Perfect. All right. Okay, class, remember, you do not have to send me this sentence. Only the correct sentence. Do not send me just the answer or just the phrase. I want the complete sentence, please. And we will be done with this topic. All right. So you're going to send me just the correct answer, right? Así como está la número uno here in the space. Only send me the answer. The complete sentence. Complete sentence.
Great. It's good to see that some of you were already ready for this, right? Ya estaban listos para esto. Very good. That means you you took it to the heart. Yeah. That's right. Blanca and Freddy's. Good job. Both of you send it to me right now. It means it shows a lot about you. Very good. So yeah, I took like a screenshot of it yesterday and said, I'm going to do it now, right? <laughs> I'm going to get ahead. I'm going to get ahead. You know, very good. That's good initiative. Okay, I just read it. Okay, I'm receiving some more here. Teacher in the four sentence say ella isn't <laughs> Ella. Yeah, that's a name. Okay. It's a name. It's a woman name. A female name. Hmm. 
Ah, good job, Diana. You probably heard me when I said, hmm. <laughs> I was reading yours when I said that. I was like, hmm. All right. Yes. All right. Very good. Excellent correction. Very good. Okay. Maybe about a few seconds more. And I have 10, 10 already that send it to me. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hmm. Okay, Jarvin. I'm looking at something. All right. I'm looking at some of these and remember remember the observation that that I have mentioned to you the other day can someone does, does anyone remember the observation that I have made and I asked you to try to be more attentive to that observation and it was, do you remember, Fabio, when I was talking or anyone else that remembers that I gave an observation when I was doing the, on one of the homeworks on Monday? Do you remember when I mentioned that in class about an observation? Que le dije que iba a dar una, unas observaciones. Do you remember? I think it was Friday or, or Monday. I can't remember. There was something that I mentioned, right? Remember that when we use third person, remember that I mentioned that, that some of you were not, were not, uh, we're not changing the verb, right? When we talk about present simple, the verb changes, right? When we talk about third person. And some of you are, some of you did it, and some of you didn't. All right. So be be attentive about that. Okay, be attentive about that. So let's look at number two. We're going to do it here in class. Let me see. Okay, Diana. Okay, alligators are readily found in California. Okay. Okay, alligators are readily found in California. All right. So we have alligators are rarely found in California, right? Okay, very good. Alligators are rarely found in California. All right, excellent. All right, remember, um, we're doing this in class, so if you made a mistake, you can correct it, all right, on your own. That way I don't have to be sending it back to you because you can see it here in class. All right, if anyone have a, if you ever, or if you, if you have a doubt, please feel free to ask. Number Three, this one has, you can use it in two different ways, okay? You can add the word does, or you can omit it and just change, use the word use, but it has to change, right? Um, who wants to do number three? Me, teacher. Okay. Number three is Mrs. Simpson. Simpson rarely uses her credit card. Ah, uh -huh. very. <laughs> I good. had a mistake. <laughs> ah, okay. So you took notice of what I just said, right? Very yeah. good. 
Excellent. Excellent. You notice here, this is present simple. This is just a simple sentence, right? You have to change the verb. All right, you have to change the verb, all right, to third person. Mrs. Simpson rarely uses her credit card. Now, if some of you didn't put the S, you just put the word use again, all right? But if you read it, you, you, you should be able to determine and say, yeah, I made a mistake right there. So avoid these mistakes, okay? This is just simple present, all right? Now, um, is there another way you can say this sentence? ¿Hay otra manera de hacerla? Using the auxiliary. Okay, can you, can you say it? Mrs. Simpson readily uh, does use her credit card. Very good. Excellent. So I'm going to put it right here. Now, some of you did this. Algunos mandaron esto. Does use. That is correct. The does, you already had the S for third person. So use stays the same, right? Because you have the auxiliary, just like Diana said. If you put does use, you are also correct. Mrs. Simpton rarely does use her credit card. But if you omit the auxiliary, use it, I mean, uh, does, then you have to respect the grammar structure of present simple and adding an S to third person on the verb use. It becomes uses. Thank you, Diana, for your, your, your input right here. Excellent. Number four. Who wants to do number four? Ella is seldom late for a meeting. Okay. Very good. Ella, Bella, and Stella, all right, all right, very good, very good. Ella is seldom late for a meeting. Very good, excellent, Fabio, good job. Number five. I would like to do that, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay. Mr. Wilson's voice was barely audible without the microphone. Okay, Mr. Wilson's voice was barely audible without the microphone. Okay. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, number six. Mm, I tried to check. Okay, I great. Excellent. Okay. How hardly any writes letters these days. Okay, hardly. Any rights? Hardly anyone. 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 Okay. Repeat. Any, hardly anyone writes letters these days. All right, very good. All right, very good. Perfect. Okay, number seven. I can try to turn. All right, great. Okay, the children could scarily remain, remain awake for dinner after the day long kicking. Okay, we're doing number seven. Uh, okay, 
Number seven. A cow has apparently finished earring when mom called it. Oh. Okay. Jacob. Uh, Jacob. Jacob okay. has currently finished earring when mom called. Jacob had. 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 Okay, very good. All right, very good. And the last one. Can I try it in? Sure. Okay. The children could scarcely remain awake for dinner after the day long hiking. Okay, okay, the children, very good. Good, scarcely, all right. All right, I'm not going to write the whole thing because I think that you, you already got the idea here, all right? So I don't have to be like writing everything again. I'm just gonna paste it right here. And then you can continue the, the sentence, right? Remain awake for dinner after the long day. Very good. This is just a little bit more practice. This was part two from yesterday. In regards to not using double negatives when you are using the English language. Okay, any questions? So we can close this topic. Okay. Let's no, continue. All right, awesome. Clear our drawings. All right, let's go to page 40. Mm, let me see. Let me do the, so we don't have to stop anymore. All right, let me do the second attendance. The second attendance, de la segunda. All right. Let me see, Abigail, Abigail, okay, still not here, Beatriz. Present. Okay, all right, you're here, great. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. All right, Brenda. Okay. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana? Hi, good evening again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second one, right? <laughs> All right, thank you. Edwin, Edwin, okay, not here. Let me see, Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, great. Fredis. I'm here teacher. All right, great. Glenda. I'm here, teacher. All right. Iris. Present, teacher. Okay, awesome. Jackie. Where are you? Present. All right, thank you. Jarvin. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Jennifer. Present, teacher. All right. And Juan Jose. Present. All right. Again. Present. Okay, great. Fabio. Present. All right, you're here. Perfect. Rolando. Present. All right, awesome. Janari. I'm here. Okay, great. All right, so only two are missing so far. Okay. Let's continue. All right, this is basically a reading activity. This is the last page of your of your book. So can you read please um Beatriz? Okay. Uh 
I, I will be able to identify characteristics of effective loyalty programs. Very let's good. Start. Continue. But let's start. What are the best customer loyalty programs in the country? What made these programs successful? Very good. So what do you think? What are the best customer loyalty programs? Hmm, I want you to think about this. Best loyalty programs in the country, in el país, in the country. And what makes these programs successful? What do you think? Do you think about this, all right? The best customer loyalty programs. Hmm. Are there any types of programs or or ways that a company gets you attracted to to their product or service and therefore as a result you become a loyal customer? What, what was it? Maybe a, well, a good quality. Okay, good quality. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good quality good. and low price. Okay, good quality and low price. Okay. Perfect. Anyone else? The characteristics have to be uh, influence a lot of it. Mm, okay. Very good. Maybe some features, right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? In this case, a pro a pro a program uh, a loyalty program could be could be like the Lea Lab. The okay. That gives us in Texaco. Ah yes, right. Uh, apps, right? Apps that can give you discounts the more you use it. Yeah, you're correct, right, Fabio? And believe it or not. Believe it or not, what Fabio just said is like probably what happened to me, right? I used to go to different gasoline stations, but after Texaco came with that app and then I started using it and I started acquiring points, points and, and it starts accumulating to dollars, dollars, dollars. I'll be like, hmm, right? Why not? So in December, I will, uh, I will change those points for for my uh, free gasoline, right? I do it every year <laughs> at the end of the year for Christmas, right? I can help todo para Navidad, right? <laughs> so, the, the gas quality, is it good for you? It's good. And um, according to what a lot of people say, Texaco is probably one of the best, right? I don't know if anyone has a different opinion. Maybe you can share it with me. Beatriz, what do you think? Do you think there's a, there are other gasoline stations that are better? Or do you see a difference? Are you no diferencia? Is there a difference in, in the way your car functions if you put gas from uh, Uno or Puma versus Texaco? I go rather Texaco. I think it's better than the others. Okay, so you think Texaco um, is better? They give you some promotions. Okay. Uh, on the servers and there are programs uh, if you pay with a specific credit card for example or there are another programs uh, that you that you can save uh, money for for each 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 time you you can buy gas for example, in my case, for me, it's better the circle than the others one. Okay, all right. Just, my case, just... in my case, um, I don't look for promotion. I look for guest quality. Okay, so tell me about it, Freddy. Uh, I well, actually, I I have a lot of neighbors that have best experience with Texaco, and they have uh, good guests on Texaco. Uh, maybe not all Texacos, right? But the Texacos near to us, it had it's like a bad, it's not bad service, actually bad quality. Okay. Because 
they mix gasoline with um to call the other one um ah kerosene no they they mix it with um uh, yeah with diesel diesel yeah diesel they they mix it so a lot of there, there have been a lot of neighbors that had bad car damage okay yes it's not dangerous for the engine okay yeah. for the engine okay anyone else would like to share their opinion so i prefer uno gas station okay you, you prefer uno okay yeah. anyone chooses another one maybe puma or i don't know other there's like two two or three more right that are... i like to to buy uh the charcoal gas because i think that is is better i i feel the better the motor because I think that when you when you buy a uh, Texaco gas, uh, I think that the motor is stronger than when you consume the Uno gas because I don't know maybe it's because uh, they have they have uh, 95 octanos. Okay. And maybe it could be better for 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 me the explosion in the motor and you you get more more force for for move the the piston in the motor okay for the pistons all right okay yeah, i think that okay well thank you right thank you for your input anyone else would like to share anything in relation to the topic Any other types of uh, programs that you think that makes you like a loyal customer to to it? Maybe magazines. I don't know. Are there special magazines that you buy that that you won't buy from other? For sources? example, Samsung. Samsung okay. cell phones. Samsung. Uh, you can go to Samsung. Also. Yeah, yeah, okay. because they they bring us the uh, high quality and. And a lot of technology, but they give us a lower price. I think you can get a a, a nice phone with Samsung because the it is um, a good brand. I think. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, can we? Can someone? Begin reading where it says read the excerpt. Anyone like to begin? I can read. Thank you, Chair. Okay, go ahead, Juan Jose. Okay. Um, Mac Cosmetic, a brand by Steve Lauder, has a loyalty program for online shoppers, and it features three trails. Tier. The first tier. tier, okay, tier. The first tier is called seduce. Uh, seduced. Seduced. Okay. Uh, the first tier, tier is called seduced. To join these tiers, no, esto no lleva ese. tier. Oh, oh, tier. You don't need to make a purchase. You just need to sign up in the web page. Perks in this the tire include Here. early tier. Okay. Here. Here. Include early access to limited. Edition products tiers two is called devoted. Is devoted? Devoted. Devoted. You get access to these tiers by spending uh, two thousand uh, one thousand fifty or more in a year. Okay. Mm, a thousand? 100, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, okay, very good, thank you. 100 or more in a year. There is um, also early access to select collections, complimentary express makeup application and more. Tiers three is named obsessed, obsessed. Okay, obsessed, obsessed. Obsessed, okay, obsessed. For customer who spend more than uh, 500, per year on product. 
member of these tiers get members to, members to these tier tiers get of to be members of this tier member yes. of this tier get to be the first to shop in certain collections and also get complimentary service mm. uh, hold on continue yes but uh, let me my screen it changed hold on hold oh, just a minute what happened mm. Mm -hmm. uh, can I continue? Yes, I, I was trying to to make it uh bigger, but it took that option away. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Mac keeps customers engaged and the tiers keep customer motivated and move the company to get more exclusive content. Amazon Prime for uh, 99 years. $99 a year. 99 years. 99 dollars a year. Amazon Prime offers not only free shipping but also other benefits such as live streaming music live live lives live streaming music movies and tv shows storage for digital photos and more benefit of this loyalty program can exceed the annual exceed. annual exceed. exceed okay exceed the annual fee for those who take full advantage of the membership. In return, members get a host host of host of in this case. Mm -hmm. Host of benefits. Host of benefits ranging from free next day delivery and return to access to the kindly. Kindle. Kindle, okay, Kindle. Lending library to unlimited streaming of videos music for many primes members the initial interest in prime is is picked or piked okay picked picked okay prime is picked to be picked by the promise of free next day delivery if you purchase something from amazon every month then prime will save most people money over the course of the years year year okay course of the year right it doesn't have an s okay very good thank you uh now um this is just to read some of the things that you see here membership cost and the way uh keep customers engaged and motivated these are just some of the things that they do uh, for example mac right and uh, um this Kindle place, I think they do like a lot of library for when you check out books. Has anyone ever been to a public library? ¿Alguno de ustedes hay una librería pública aquí en el país? Yeah. Okay. I have been to one when I was a child. When I was a child. Okay, very good. How was your experience? Very good because I find uh, all the homework. Or okay, the I found, I found. I found, yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Good job, all right. Um, yeah, it's always good to, to read a lot. If you ever have a chance to read books, it's always good to read, right? And now, after reading this, there's an activity here. It says pair work. Um, let me see. Jennifer, can you read, please? Jennifer? 
Deficit, the count. Can you read a uh, fair work? Yes. Fair work. How can you tell if a judge? How can you tell if a loyalty program is effective or not? See the following characteristics that define a good or bad loyalty program. Then write an evaluation of the program about. All right. Continue. Mm -hmm. Continue with the numbers. Okay. Customers are confused and are. I don't know how to pronounce and angered, 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 angered. Yes. By complex loyalty program, consumers are annoyed with their points or rewards expired. Okay, annoyed, 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 annoyed. and expire. Uh, thank you. Dick. And I, when they point or reward, reward expires. Very good. Consumers prefer to be rewarded for things they do on a daily basis. On a so daily basis. On a daily basis, such as grocery shopping rather than occasional activities, such as travel. Okay. As travel. Very good. Very good um what do you think so we have here i'm going to put you in pairs and you're going to discuss this is critical thinking this is critical analysis this is your own personal perspective so there is no right or wrong answer remember that there is no right or wrong answer this is your own per perception this is your own free will and you get to express your point of view. Consumers are confused and angered and are angered by complex loyalty programs. Here is basically saying, do you believe, do you agree? Is it effective or is not effective when you have a complex loyalty programs? What does it mean when I, what is complex? Primero, we have to know what the word means. What is complex? Flor? Something that is not easy. Very good. Not complicated. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. All right. So that is correct, right? Something that is not easy, something that is complicated. All right. Those are complex loyalty programs. And I can give you some ideas. For example, um, when when you get like a i don't know a credit card or maybe a walmart credit card or credit or different types of cards was it easy for you to get them or did you have to go through a complex program like you have to do this you have to bring me this you have to give me your your work related uh income and everything else tell me about that all right that's what it's referring to something that is complex although you're a loyal customer but sometimes it's complex to keep being loyal right they give you a lot of runarounds so you have to bring this you have to get this you have to provide this and there's a membership fee right uh, you have to pay 2.99 for the card or whatever right those type of complex issues number two Consumers are annoyed. Annoyed. What is annoyed? Annoyed. Molestos. Molestos. Yes, they're annoyed. Yes, yeah, that's correct, right? You're annoyed. You're like, ah, ah, right? When the points expire, right? I didn't know that, for example, with Credit Los, put, los puntos se expedían, o sea, they give you a certain time to, to use them. And if you don't use them, you lose them. Lo pierde uno, right? And I was like, oh, okay, so that's how they do it, right? So 
they expire after a certain period of time. So you have consumers that are annoyed. Muchos se molestan con eso, right? When they lose the points, when you accumulate so many points, and then at the end they say, okay, uh, you already passed six months, we're going to remove those points, or they expire. That's what it's referring to here. Number three, says consumers. Teacher, yes? sorry, uh, uh, I don't understand very well. For example, annoyed is like when you are angry for something that the brand is doing. And basically, the company, right? Basically, the company. the company. Yes. All right. Remember that we're talking about loyalty, right? Estamos hablando de lealtad a una empresa o a service, right? So, I mean, it's also a brand, but the brand doesn't give you like an application. It doesn't give you a card, right? But they represent it. They represent it. So when you go, for example, here, Carlos, have you ever accumulated any points in anything? Has acumulado yes, los puntos? Yes. In Leal, Texaco. Okay, va. Imagine that, Carlos. Enfócate en eso. Enfo focus on that. Okay? Now, okay. imagine, imagine that you go right now to Texaco and you want to tell them to put you. Yeah, you want to transfer those points into gasoline, right? Yes. Example, right? And then you find out that they are not there anymore, that they expired. Uh huh. Are you going to be happy? Yeah. No. The last time uh, I I have some things uh, like this because uh, I didn't know about uh, the points in the app how uh, uh, a determinate time for for you can use that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I read some email and they uh, say me, uh, you have only 14 days for use your points. Uh, and they tell me, that, okay, they, they, tell, they me. tell me, yes. they tell me, okay, they, they tell me that I have only 14, 40, 40 days for use the points. And after that, I, I'm not going to be able to use that. Okay, so this is what it's referring to, number two. All right? Okay. Do you get annoyed when they expire or, or they are removed because you didn't use them? Some people get annoyed, right? Some consumers get annoyed. So that's what it's talking about. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you for asking. Number three. Consumers prefer to be rewarded for things they do on a daily basis. That's what the the status says, right? Such as grocery shopping rather than occasional activities such as travel. Do you agree with this? Do you yes. agree with this, all right? Elaborate why you agree with it, okay? And it give your your opinion. Remember, all these are opinions. So you're going to go in groups and you're going to discuss these three points and give your, your feedback, your, your personal experience, your opinion, your critical analysis in regards to these three questions. All right, any questions? We have to, to write and send them no, to you. No, 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 no. It's speaking. Okay, only, only speaking. Yes, okay. only speaking. You're going to speak with your classmates. All right, okay. only speaking. Thank you for asking, Carlos. Yes, no writing. No writing. Only speaking. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, anyone here that cannot do this activity in group? Anyone here that is driving or is not able to talk or communicate with your class, please let me know so I can leave you... <laughs> In the main session with me, teacher. Actually, I can. I can't. Okay, you can't. Right. All right. I can't. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for being honest. No problem. If you communicate with me, I will gladly uh, accept. 
you from this activity. Yeah, sorry, I can't this time. No problem. Thank you for telling me, okay? No, I need nothing wrong with that. Please just be honest, and that's all I ask. And everything will work just fine. Let me see. Anyone else? Me, teacher. Okay. Let me see. <coughs> me, teacher. Okay, let me see. So is Jackie? All right, Jackie. Yes. Diana. Orlando. Okay. Anyone else? Me, me. Who is me? Me, Janari. Okay, Janari. All right. Great. All right. Glenda okay. too, teacher. I'm All sorry. Right. No problem. No problem. Let me write your name, Glenda. All right. Let me see. Okay. Abigail and Beatriz. And room number two, Blanca and Flor. Freddy's and Fabio, Francisco and Lise, Jarvin and Jennifer. Miguel and Juan Jose. Okay, Janari said no. Orlando said no. Jackie said no. Glenda said no. Diana said no. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, I'm going to put you in a group of two. Okay, sure. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to put you with Miguel and Juan Jose. All right. Ready? One, two, three. This is just speaking about those three points. See you in a few minutes. Okay. Please join breakout rooms. The rest of you will stay here in the main session with me. Everyone else will go to breakout rooms. Have a great time. Jose, I have to join. <laughs> yes, me, me too. Before the class, I take a nap, but I feel better than. <laughs> so, right, we, right now, we can start to practice the three points that the teacher says. Okay. 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 Remember, you can, share, you can share screen if you can, okay? All right. Picture. All right. Yes. Well, uh, the paragraph talk about a uh, product and special for the loyalty programs. For example, I'm going to give you some example. Okay. Some or some companies uh, give you a credit card. 
if you pay your purchase with that credit card, you, you get some points. This point, this point you use for another purchase. And some sure. purchase. Purchase. And some banks uh, change for, for money and they and they put in your saving account. We just speaking. We just speaking. I think. I understand that we have to speak if we find that program uh, good or bad, and maybe why. Yeah. The second say, consume con consumers are annoyed when their points are or reward expire. Yeah, I will be upset too. <laughs> Anyone? Actually. Let me tell you what just happened, like, let's say like a week ago, my wife bought, bought two uh, <clears throat> smartwatches, one for her, one for me, and the one that she bought for her is a pink one, and actually it won't even turn on, and we called, we asked for the warranty, and they don't want to answer, so I think we're going to have to just leave it like that. They didn't tell you about the guarantee. Yeah, so actually, that's a last. Oh, then, then I was telling, telling to myself, you have to stop buying online. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it was a uh, watch that you buy already. Yeah, we find it on um Facebook or Marketplace. It's called Monkeys Express. So I won't recommend if you see it, don't buy nothing there. <laughs> don't buy anything. Huh? Monkey, Monkeys Express. Yeah, Monkeys Express. So what happened? <clears throat> you bought it and then it won't turn on. <clears throat> I charged it already and it won't turn on. And the other one, it works perfectly. Mm. But one, it, come, it came out broken. So I won't recommend that page. So if you see it online, you try to buy something, don't buy it from there. <laughs> For the uh, one that don't work, you already, uh, well, they didn't respond to you. So you, I you send it to see if it wasn't the batteries. Actually, I don't know where I could take it for see what's wrong with it. So, um, in Metro, there are a few uh, places where you... Uh, pay. If you pay late, they are calling you for mm -hmm. one for one day that uh, don't pay but uh, there are case for example in my in my case i has 15 or 20 20 years without internet i have internet mm -hmm. until now um i lose this the signal of internet since mm -hmm. Uh, twenty seven. Reason I do not like the the credit card. Uh, maybe I think that is a an example. However, with, with this new. Hello, Edwin. Teacher, hello, how are you? Ah, I'm doing great. I just rarely go to my house. Okay, great, awesome. I just go to 
I'm just going to check close and, and, and I will be ready. Okay. All right. Well, I have some people here that uh, they're kind of busy or something and that they cannot work in groups or not. So let me know when you're mm -hmm. ready because we're doing the activity in groups and it'll mm -hmm. probably be another maybe three more minutes and we'll finish with that other activity. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay thank so, you so much for the all right, all right, no problem. Just just mm -hmm. relax and get ready and just stay connected, okay? Okay. Thank all you right. so much. No problem. Hello, Blanca. Hello. Hey, I'm what happened? Oh, poor, poor. Let's see. So let me see what I can do for you. I'm going to put okay. you in another group, okay? Okay. Who are you with, Blanca? With Flo. Okay. Let me put you in another group. Hello, Flor. Flor? Hello, hello, teacher. Okay, I'm going to put you back with Blanca because she's by herself. Yes, thank you. Okay. Ahí está. I bring, I bring, and now they call me and they they ask me for my information and to do the contract. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow, I hope they are going to call me for for do the for 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 ask me when I can and when can they connect the service again again. Mm -hmm. Because I okay. think that is the the easy form to to solve that problem. Yeah, because I have yeah um, a long time to a long time. Okay. I, the 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 service the service uh, the internet service is um in this in some place is is difficult. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. And let me see. Okay. Now, now that you're here, we're going to 
continue and I have some speaking activity for you. This is outside of the context, but they are still good, good questions for you to answer with your classmates. I'm going to share here. Where is it? All right. It looks a little blurry, but can you see it? The mirror go blur also, but I think you can, you can. It's difficult to read it, teacher. Okay. For me. Okay, least. Jennifer, can can you read the first one? No puede leer la primera, no? Yes, I will try. What would you do if you have one day left to live? Ah, yeah, you can read it. All right. Yeah, you can read it. All right. It's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult, but I think you can do it, right? Sorry about yes. this. It came out a little blurry, right? But I think you can, you as intermediate level, I think you can figure it out, right? Okay, you read the first one. Continue, Jennifer. Okay, teacher. What good do you do if you found ten dollars in the street? Okay, very good. Next one. If you could have dinner with a famous actor, who would you choose? Very good. Next one. If you could change your appearance, what Continue, please, Jennifer. What would you alter? Alter, alter, right? So, what is alter? I don't know, teacher. Okay, what will you alter? Que alter alteraría, right? So if you could ah, change your appearance, your appearance. So what would uh, you change? Could exactly, be? exactly, right? So here it says alter, porque alteraría como la piel or something, right? You probably, what would you change? What would you, what would you do different to your appearance, right? Okay, continue, Jennifer. If you could have any job, what would you be? Okay. Continue. If you were prime minister, what would you change? Okay, prime minister, right? Primer minister. Yeah, exactly. That is yeah. Like the president in mm -hmm. other countries, like yes. Korea. Right, yes, like Korea or in uh, England, right? In Inglaterra also, there you have what is called a prime minister, all right? Yes, they have prime minister in certain parts. Some parts are presidents. Some parts are kings, like in Middle East, like uh, Arabia Saudita, son reyes, right? Y príncipes allá, right? Princes and... Okay, continue, please. Thank you, Jennifer. Continue, please, Fabio. If you could have one special ability, what would you choose? Ah, okay, continue. If you have time with which other la languages, language would you learn? All right, very good. All right, so would you, would you like to learn another language? Continue. If you could meet one person from history, who would you choose? All right, we're talking about history, right? From the past. Right? Who will you choose, right? If you could meet one person, right? Right? Who would it be? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, one person said Jesus. Okay. So, okay, great. Fabio, continue. If you had to change nationality, what would you become? All right. So you become a Salvadorian to what? Japanese, Korean, <laughs> uh, American, or what? European, uh, Russian? I don't know. Right, uh, uh, Iranian, <laughs> Iranian, <laughs> <No>. right? <laughs> right, uh, Ayatollah, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, continue, Fabio. If you found a diamond, a diamond ring in the street, what would you do? Uh huh. What would you do if you found a diamond ring? Right, continue, Fabio. What would you do if you saw someone shop? Shoplifting. Yeah, shoplifting. Okay, class, shoplifting. What is shoplifting? Yeah, I don't know. It's tall. Uh, okay. Okay. Shoplifting is aquella persona que entra en la tienda y se lleva cositas en la bolsa. All right. That is shoplifting. All right. Shoplifting. Este es la, el término legal. 
This is the legal terminology, shoplifting, right? So shoplifting is when you go, for example, it comes from the word shopping. When you go shopping, right? The compras, shoplifting, lifting, right? Levantas algo y a la bolsita, right? Shoplifting. That's when you go to stores and you steal. You steal something. You take something without paying. Without, mm -hmm. Yes, all right. So uh, thank you, Fabio. Continue, please. Uh, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Uh, if you didn't uh, have to work next week, what would you do? Yeah, what would you do? If you didn't have to work next week, what would you do? Right? All right, continue. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, what would you do? Where would you go, right? Maybe crying. Right, maybe crying of happiness, right? Okay. <laughs> continue. <What happened? laughs> continue. Uh, what would you do if you can speak if you English could. perfectly? Wow. If you, if you could. If you could speak English perfectly? Yes. What would you wow. do if you could speak English perfectly, right? All right. What would you do? How would you feel? What would be your reaction? Continue. Last uh, one. Which will you uh, rather? Mm -hmm. Rather give, give up? Your cell phone, uh, refrigerating, refrigerator, no. refrigerator, or television. Yeah, television, right? So, which would you rather give up? What is give up in estos términos? What is this phrasal verb? What would you rather give up? Give up hmm? is like to get, excuse me, Carlos. It's like to get. Mm, no. It's going to be. Mm, no. no. It doesn't it's, work. Uh, give up is to give away. Want to use more like. To give away. Mm. It doesn't work. Mm. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Like to take something in the, in the store? No. It's like left something, but like I will not use it anymore, or I can use it anymore of this thing because something happened. So close, very, very close, Fabio. You added too much at the end. You were going good. Ah. You added just a little too like much. I, I was trying to make something that makes sense <laughs> yeah but you were close to you added the end part right the last oh, part yeah. but you're correct when you when you stop give up it says which would you rather give up all right they have you sad you give up you give up means eh, parar de. Parar okay. usted de usar. what would you rather give up for example if i say okay tienes que dejar uno de estos te dicen el lapis no, the car, the motorcycle, or the boat. What the hell is yo? The car, the moto, or the barco? What would you rather, what would you give up? Right? Get Similar, that? like when the people say, for example, when uh, some people uh, dar de alta, when they lose their job, dar de alta. No, no. No, that's, no. that's too far. Dejar. In that case, it's like more like, I don't want to continue with this. Exactly. So I give up. Yeah, you give up, right? What would you rather stop continuing using? Parar de usar. In other words, just like Fabio just said, much better, Fabio. Very good. More into that, that, that right way. All right. So what would you give up? Will you give up your cell phone? Your refrigerator? Or your television? The TV. <laughs> All right. <laughs> El teléfono no lo dejo, dice, right? <laughs> yeah, the TV. <laughs> right. It's for a, a song emerging <laughs> All right. Very good. Exactly. Right. So you give up the television, right? Prefiero parar de ver la televisión, pero no el teléfono de refrigerator. And then these are the questions that you are going to ask your classmates. You're going to interact and give yourself the opinions and try to give 
a reason as to why. And algunas try to answer why. All right, why? Why did you choose that? Why did you choose television and not refrigerator or cell phone? All right? Why, why did you choose that answer? That answer, All right? And for example, if you had to change nationality, Fabio, what will you become? I don't know, maybe a German. <laughs> okay, a German. And then I, was, I would ask you, why? Why? Uh -huh. Aha, <laughs> so there's the question. Why? Why, did, why would you, why wouldn't you choose uh, Japan or why wouldn't you choose uh, what? Uh, another Norway. country? North Norway. Korea or something, right? Norway. <laughs> Norway, right? So you say why? Maybe, maybe Fabio, but I will dijo German, right? Right? For something you say German. There's something that came to his mind that said German, right? For Hitler. For Hitler. <laughs> to know to Hitler. Okay. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right. All right. So those are the questions that you're going to do. You're going to do this in pairs. And, um, pues aquí había algunos que no podían hacer la actividad. So voy a continuar con los mismos que sí pueden. Okay? If you can, just let me know. Okay? Let me know. But I'm going to stay with the ones that told me that they can continue. Uh, let me see. I can't teach her. Jackie. Jackie. Huh? Okay. Ya puede usted? Yes? I'm Yes. Okay, Jack. I'm back, teacher. Okay, Rolando, you're good? Yeah, I'm back. All right, great. Entonces voy a omitir your names. Okay. Diana, Yanari, and Glenda, ¿se mantienen? Do you stay in the same status? If you don't answer, I take that as a yes. You can hear me? Okay. Okay, class. Uh, this is going to be just, I hope you have fun with this because these are very interesting questions. All right. All right. Open our rooms. You're going back in the same groups that you were. I'm just going to add uh, some more people. Okay. I'm going to add Rolando and the rest of the groups. Okay. One, two, three. Please join breakout rooms. You can share screen. Espero le hayan tomado captura. Okay, maybe you can take a screenshot, Rolando, and... Teacher, could you please send me again the invitation? Okay. Hello? So did you need it? To, you need it? I need it. Yeah, thank ah, you. Okay, no problem. I figured that, right? I was like, I don't have to make a captura, right? <laughs> I was like, that in face. I didn't take the picture. <laughs> All right, what? Okay, take a screenshot and there you have it. Thank you. All right, no problem, right? These are very interesting questions. Just relax and answer them. All right. Ready? Thank you. All right. Okay, let me see. Orlando. Okay, you're going to room one. <clears throat> okay, Orlando, I sent you the, the invitation to go to breakout rooms. And also... Jackie, right? Hello, Jackie. Hello. All I'm right. waiting. Okay, sure. There you go. Did you get it? Hello, Edwin. Okay, Glenda, you you still wanted to be right here, Glenda, or you want to do the activity? Yeah, I can to do the activity now. Okay, okay, you can. All right, let me Thank see. You. 
Let me put you in group four. Okay, Glenda, there's the invitation. I hope you get it. Okay, Yanari. Mm -hmm. um, and and diet and diet before it use the atomic um, bomba. I don't remember bomba. The atomic pump. The atomic pump. Maybe yes, pump. but. Mm -hmm. Money, never, and I I was thinking about it, and I and I was thinking ah. To Canada. Uh, Canadian. I would like to be Canadian. Really? I visit, yeah, I visited this country and I really like it. Yeah, Dante and others that I visited. I wish the to fly so far of my home or or can see the the earth from the sky i don't know <laughs> and you
and critical. Yes, yes. And I work for a less salary that surely I could have if I work as CEO in a big company. <laughs> for the salary is the most important thing. No, I don't think that. But it's an important. I use for the experience, you said. For the experience, for the pleasure to He, us he usually he usually work in in action movies. I yes. one is Top Gun. Uh -huh. Okay. I I agree with you. Okay. And you, if you could have dinner with famous actress, who could you choose? For me, it's too hard to select one because I like many <laughs> actresses. <laughs> but I select to Scarlett Johansson. I really admire this girl uh, for uh, her movies. I, I saw in this to this girl in many kinds of movies. Yeah. But I like uh, the... Teacher, how do you say papel? For example, the role. Ah, the role. The role. The role, like the the role. role in uh, Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> the role in Avenger, uh, uh, Avengers. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. I really, I really like see uh, her see. movies. To see. To see. Her. Yeah, her movies. Okay. This is the reason, and 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 is she's really beautiful <laughs> for me, for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Change the question. <laughs> okay. If you okay. Can, can you ask? Minister. Can you ask Abigail the question? Yes. 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 She really like to to have a. A dinner with with Iron Man. Iron Man, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's great. That's great. 
Okay. And Beatriz uh, want to be with Iran. To, to Iran is the name in Iran. The, of Tom Cruise in oh. the in, real name. In, no, no, in, in, in the role of uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, Mission Impossible. Um, yeah, Mission this is the, the, the name, the fiction name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> another another question, Beatriz. Okay. If you were prime minister, what Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. I know you probably didn't finish, right? And if we have time tomorrow, we can do another small speaking activity also. Now remember that tomorrow we are going to um, to do the survey. So please be punctual, all right? And try to be here uh, at eight o'clock. Uh, eight o'clock. Remember that the the survey no más se va a realizar una vez, right? So if you're not here, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, if you're not present in class, um, I guess you probably I don't know, right? You will have to deal with administration, right? And when cuando la persona administrativa ya entra a la clase, pararé todo lo que estoy haciendo y iniciaríamos eh, la encuesta, ¿ok? La encuesta una vez más. I'm going to say in Spanish por uh, por cuestiones de auditoría por Insafor eh, para que quede bien claro. Espero que nadie falte, right? No quiero que nadie se quede por alguna cosa u otra a, a no hacer la encuesta, ¿ok? Yo quiero que todos ustedes avancen siempre en todo en continue learning and acquiring the English language. Now, mañana vamos a hacer la encuesta, va a entrar administración aquí para auditar eh, mi presencia, al igual como la de ustedes. Por favor, si pueden tener las cámaras encendidas, recuerden que es un requerimiento para mañana, para aquellos que se han acostumbrado a no prenderla, por favor, mañana tan siquiera las tengan pedidas, las prendidas, porque tomarían captura de los nombres. All right. Eh, Les digo ya como para que yo bien puedo decir lo que sea, right? But eh, siempre me, me preocupo por mis estudiantes, right? So por eso les comento y por favor entre puntual cuando entre la área administrativa a la clase yo tengo que parar todo por instrucciones de ellos. Cuando ellos cuando ella ya ya sé quién va a entrar, right? Cuando ella entre en la clase Y yo voy a decir hello, right? Y, y vamos a proceder. Right? Yo le voy a comentar a ustedes, ha entrado la área administrativa, paremos todo y continuaremos con la encuesta. Right? No nos vamos a detener como, oh, espérese un momento que no ha entrado tal y tal persona. No. Right? So desde ahorita se los digo, están todos ahorita en clase. Estamos 100% de asistencia. Están 20 de ustedes, más yo somos 21. So, Please, right? Que sea el último, ya el último día mañana va a ser la clase de una hora y veinte minutos, right? An hour and twenty minutes, and the only person que se quedaría ese día sería la persona que le tocaba ese día que no no tuvimos la clase, right? And I will let it be know tomorrow. The other thing is, ya todos completaron la plataforma, ya mandé sus notas, right? So esa parte ya está completa. All right, so you don't have to worry about that. Aquellos que tenían las etiquetitas amarillas que les llamaron y todo eso porque no habían terminado, ya fueron removidas porque ya mandé sus notas. All right. Entonces ya está todo completo. No hay nadie aquí que pueda decir teacher. I mean, no, pues yo mismo las mando. All right. The other thing. Les voy a enseñar un pequeño video para que ya tengan idea 
para que no al último momento, teacher, no, mira, right? Entonces, para ayudarles un poquito o refrescar para algunos que, que, que quizás uh, ya lo han hecho antes, pero para aquellos que quizás son nuevos, right? And you can see, mañana es copy and paste. Ya todos me confirmaron a, ayer, right? Los que estaban en clase que recibieron la información sobre la encuesta, right? Ya lo recibieron. Eh, ¿Sí? Yes, hay alguien que, ok, si hay alguien que yes, todavía teacher. no, yes, todavía teacher. hay tiempo, right? Todavía hay tiempo si hay alguien que me diga no, teacher, yo no. Yes. Ok, so I'm going to show you this. Y esto está en una página de, de inglés corporativo, como pueden ver. And I'm going to show you qué es lo que vamos a hacer. No lo vamos a hacer ahorita, ok? Nadie quiere que empiece a hacerlo. Lo vamos a hacer juntos mañana en clase. Right? Nomás es una oportunidad para hacerla. So please be careful. Now, I'm going to play the, the video y por favor nomás le pongan atención. Remember, if you can use a laptop tomorrow, it will be much easier. Se les hará un poquito más fácil if you're using a laptop. Y como, como pueden ver aquí, está abierto el correo y la encuesta a misma vez. All right? And you're going to copy and paste. Para copiar y pegar. Esto es nomás demost demonstration, okay? This is just a demonstration.
Okay, that was just a little demonstration of what you will be doing tomorrow. I will play it again tomorrow, okay? Mañana les voy a enseñar este video otra vez porque lo vamos a hacer paso por paso, okay? We're going to do step by step together with administration here, okay? So just be ready. All the information is already there with you, right? So that's the information that you're going to transfer to the survey. Just remember, I hope you learn how to copy and paste, copy and paste, okay, copy and paste. That's all you're going to do. And eso sería las, las únicas preguntas que estarían en la encuesta, okay? So nothing where you're going to be writing a lot, none of that, okay? All the information is there. And um, I see you, let me do the final attendance and we can have a good night. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Okay, Carlos. I'm here present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. Present. All right, Edwin. Edwin. Okay, Flor. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fredis. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Present, teacher. All right, Iris. Present, teacher. All right, Jackie. Present. Okay, Jarvin. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Present. Okay, Juan Jose. Present. Thank you. Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Fabio. Present. All right. Eh, Rolando. Hey. Present. All right. And finally, Janari. Here. All right. Great. Thank you, everyone. The person that stays today is Carlos. Carlos, you stay for the extra 10 minutes. Everyone else, good night. And I'll see you tomorrow for the finale, right? The finale. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hey, hello, hello Carlos. teacher. How are you? Yeah, hello. Teacher. I'm very well. What are, what are you, teacher? Huh? I'm doing good. What I'm up? doing good. So, these are your 10 minutes. Do you have any questions or you would like to ask any questions in relation to the topics or just conversate for a few minutes? Yeah. Right? Whatever, whatever you prefer, Carlos. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I would like to conversate with you. Yeah. Okay. I would like, yeah, for example. Did, did you finish? Like yes. Did you finish the questions? Uh, the question uh, of the book? This one right here? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we can talk about that too. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have some, some more here. Yeah, the, the last I like. This one? But, okay. Uh, Tell me. Like, yeah. Did you finish? Yeah. Terminaron. Did you finish? No. Okay. No. Where did you stop? Uh, in the, let me see. Um, if you could have any job, what would you? to be okay so if you yeah. if you could have any job what would you prefer carlos yeah i prefer for example i i was talking with my partners about my my job for example i was i was telling they about that i like my job because i can learn a lot of things because i for example this week I I was uh, working with uh, 
with one Germany person and a Mexican person. And I think that is a very interesting in terms of my job because I think that I can learn a lot of things. For example, uh, they teach me about how can I do for fix the my some machine or how can I do for improve the process or uh, I, I can I can learn about uh, a lot of topics. <laughs> yeah. I think that it's a good job, but I like to I would like to work in a sales job too because I, I love to say to sell uh, something I like I I I have been selling uh, for example uh, signs when I was a child. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it because uh, I remember that sometimes uh, I I bought something, for example, uh, a headphones. I bought three, and I I only I have to buy two, for example, but in in my headphone is going to be free for me. <laughs> yeah, and it's very. <laughs> All right. What about um, if you had time, which other language would you would you learn? Yeah. Uh, for example, I I would like to try to learn uh, Germany language because German. Uh, German. Yes. German language. Yeah, because. I think that it will be uh, very interesting because they have a good technology too. For example, I would like to learn about uh, a Portuguese language. Portuguese okay. language, yeah, yeah. I think it's a, a very important language. And it will uh, help me to learn about a lot of things because I can understand what are they say talking, what are they say, saying me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to correct you on something, Carlos. Ah, uh, yeah. All tell. right. Yes, tell. All right. Yes. There is a difference tell. between tell and say. Sabes tú la diferencia? Mm, maybe tell is when some people. Some people uh, tell me something. Say as you are in a conversation. Okay. Now, say is more open. Eh, no es directo. Okay. It's not direct. Tells when someone tells you directly. Okay. Tells when someone speaking to you directly. Okay. Okay. And this is just, uh, just openly, open, open, okay. right? For example, your... for example, we, I can say, I can, I can use say, when I ask, for example, uh, to one partner, for example, uh, say me what happened. No, no uh, tell me, tell me, porque tú quieres que te lo diga directamente a ti. Uh, es tell me, tell me. Okay. In which case I can use say. Okay, for okay. example, uh, when you tell someone, dilo, dilo, right? Just say it, right? Uh, it's in general, just in, in the open, uh, abiertamente, okay? But if I tell okay. you something directly, it's tell. Si te digo directamente a ti, mira, Carlos, pum, 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 right? I'm telling you something, all right? Okay, I understand. For example, I can say, say me what happened. No, no, tell no, me. Say me, only say me. No, tell me. Desde tell el momento me. que tú usas el me, ya es tell me. No puede, esto no existe. Say me, mm -hmm. Carlos. Uh, this is incorrect. Tell me, porque te estás diciendo, te estás poniendo tú directamente. You are putting yourself directly. Dime a me. Tell me. All right. So you use tell me. Say me. Say no existe ese término. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and for example, in the other sentence, uh, say, what did you do? No. What happened? For example, we, we can do the sentence, say, what did you do? Yes, you can say that, all right? Porque nomás quiere que la persona lo diga directamente, sin que sea directamente a ti, que nomás que lo diga. Say what did uh, you do? Yeah, yes. you can say that one. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you for teaching. No problem. O oh, cuando vas a hablar libremente, uh, como, uh, I'm going to say something. Voy a decir algo, right? Pero lo estás diciendo a voz alta. You're saying it in open, openly, right? Now, if I say, Carlos, I'm going to tell you something. Ya te tell, porque directamente a ti. Pero si no me voy a hablar en voz alta, es say. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, teacher, okay. excuse yes. me. I, could you refresh me about how can I use Will Roger? Will Roger, okay. because I, I don't remember very well. Okay, I would rather. Yes. Okay, would rather is when you have a different option. Okay. Cuando quieres hacer otra opción o otra acción. For example, um, son dos diferentes cláusulas. Right. I like pizza, right? A mí me gusta pizza. But. I would rather eat like for, yeah I, I I'm I'm remembering it's like when you you want to say it's similar like if you want if you want to say I prefer uh, exactly this. eso yeah una preferencia yes. it's a preference un cambio yes. de preferencia right change of preference. Un cambio de preferencia. All right? Como el, yes. uh, uh, I prefer. El for example, I can say, I, for example, I have a car, but I would rather to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, así es. Correct. Um, okay. All right. So let me see. It's already past the 10 minute mark and carlos thank you for staying and then learning a little bit something extra okay and it's a pleasure having you in class carlos All right thank you, you're a very attentive student and i'm happy to have you as a student and always learning and progressing in the english language all right okay teacher all right all right, continue, Carlos. Don't stop. You continue. All right? Yeah. Take advantage. Uh, teacher, yes? teacher, teacher, can, can I tell you something? Sure, yeah. you can tell me. Yeah, for example, I like to be learning English, but I think that uh, I'm going to participate only in the next, uh, the next level because after that, uh, I want to continue with my studying. I okay. want to, to to start again with the engineering about my my career, and I like to to become an engineer. Yeah, I like to be learning things, and, and I think that I can I can I can continue learning, but but in the career I think that I can uh, I they can bring me a class a English class class in the in the list of the of the materials okay courses courses uh, yeah yeah and i think that i can continue there but i like to to be here learning because i can learn a lot of things you are teaching me a lot of things and i'm i'm practicing a lot of, and it is helping me because I, I uh, yeah, because I need to, to practice. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad to hear it and I hope you continue always doing positive things, Carlos. And all right, I'm glad you shared that with me, okay? 
Thank you. Okay. Okay, but, Carlos. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I hope continue teaching. I, I, I hope continue learning with you in the next level, teacher. <laughs> okay, I hope to see you. Okay, hopefully we will see what InstaFort decides. Okay, yes, whatever they decide. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, Carlos, it was a pleasure. You have a good night. Take care. Okay. Okay. But if tomorrow we can talk, uh, I want to say you nice to meet you. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to say goodbye tomorrow. Right. And yeah. Okay, Carlos. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you also, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow so we can do a finale, okay? okay Have a good night. Good night, Carlos. Take care. Have a good night, too. All right. Bye-bye.